In this video, I am bringing to you two major updates with PECDB. Number one is that having tested over 1,000 participants, we identified the most statistically optimal target curve in the world. Harmon target, that's more like a 2018 thing. Harmon IE target, that's like a 2019 thing. No, we are in 2024 and have identified the best target curve, introducing the PEQDB target curve. And the reason we don't need to name it 2024 is because we accounted for all variables such that this is the only target curve we will ever need for this head-related transfer function. All the days of guessing are completely over. We have the answer for the target that will satisfy the 80% of listeners. And in addition, our IE and OE targets vary very little. There is a slight increase in preference for base for in years and like a 0.1 dB preference increase in treble, but nothing close to what Harmon suggests is required, which clearly shows flaws in their methodology, which we have clearly greatly improved upon here using the exact same methodology. You guys thought I was making it up when I said I was an audio scientist and researcher at Stanford University. Well, here you go. On to news number two. We are now introducing the option to use A-B testing instead of a rating scale. We developed a simpler method in addition to our original rating system for users to play around with and let us know what you think. We are actually able to get the number of trials down to 12, but really we should be able to get down to five soon at this rate. We're making massive progress. Simply select your headphone. I'm wearing Odyssey LSD5. But yeah, you guys have to try the new update. It is huge and another complete game changer for the audio world.